Hey there, collectives, and welcome back for another general love reading. This is a general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. So only take the part that fits and disregard the rest here. So pulling your energy here, you have storm warning in the reverse. You have caring connection in the upright. You have door to spirit in the reverse. And you have door to value in the reverse. So check out what the storm warning in reverse is talking about here. It is a general. Please like, share, and subscribe if this video resonates with you. It says this card represents or this card reverse indicates that the dark times are behind you or at least beginning to fall away. You can take heart that sunny skies are better times and better times are on the horizon. This new light may bring a time of reassessment and redirection for you. Let yourself consider where you want to go next. Also spend some time reflecting on the difficulty that has passed. What was the lesson for you collective, whether it's about self-love or empowerment? Remember to bring these intentions and the lessons learned into your bright new path. So uh, getting overcome, overcoming the dark times, uh, perseverance, surviving the storm. I feel like you're surviving your storm here. But you got the door to value in the reverse, though. 31. Why is the door to value in the reverse here for the collective here? 31 in the reverse. It says <clears throat> new beginnings in finance or career. But like I said, it's in the reverse. Some of you guys could be getting over a financial uh, hardships here. It says this card reverse signifies a partial or perhaps even potentially complete closing of the door. The hope for new opportunity where money or career is concerned may be delayed or possibly even derailed. Don't be disheartened, however. This card reverse reminds you not to put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your interests and your efforts and let your intuition guide you the next open doorway. In the meantime, open your heart and your mind to the other sources of value in your life. Money is a commodity, but so are time, tranquility, and love. Choose to open the doors of these wonderful experiences yourself and find real value there. So, like I say, somebody may uh, <laughs> seem like somebody may be going through some hard times. Now you got the door to spirit in the reverse. It is the next n next number here. So it's, it's I feel like you're going through to come out. Door to spirit in the reverse here. So it says here, when this card is reversed, you may find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. It seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. You may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at any in, uh, at at and enjoy the uh, deeper sense of your spiritual connections. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama, uh, distractions or intense emotions, the more your spiritual peace will bring you solutions for these issues. So collective relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self that resides in your own heart center. Allow that connection to grow and you'll find that many new doors will open as a result. So for some of y'all with this caring connection in the upright, for some of you guys, you may have experienced, you know, you could have been in a situation where you were depending on them financially here. And uh, it's almost like, you know, it, something immediately happened here and now you're picking up the pieces here. Uh, you know, it could be that you were in a connection here and you and your person may have each other. So this could be for a couple here that y'all lost everything. But the only thing you have left is each other because this caring connection is the only card that's in the upright here. Number 14, because it seems like the, somebody may have lost everything in a house fire. Somebody may have uh, somebody may have lost in their income here and lost you know, stuff may have started getting repossessed here. And, you know, y'all got to deal with the ridicule. And um, I don't know, maybe this is a lesson. Maybe it's a lesson to uh, spend your money wisely or to live within your means. Uh, because but I feel like you're going to I feel like your connection is going to pull you through here. 
It says friendship, partnership, up to possible love here. So this card shows a couple and they tend to like the community card. Uh, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit, friendship, or even the appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. So for some of y'all, it could be some type of business par partnership right when you think you done lost it all. And you mean that song, late in the midnight hour, God's gonna work it out. You could be down to the midnight hour and out of nowhere, something comes through. It's never too late. We put time and pressure because we're pressure because we don't have the faith because on this time zone, in this world, on this planet, planet, everything has a specific time to it. <laughs> everything has its everything, okay? But everything may not be right, okay? So it tells you that when this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections representing themselves. The relationship you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present at the time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. So karmic, everything is karmic, y'all, because we're soulmates here. We all got some type of soulmate connection, and depending on how we uh, handle each other, I feel like it's going to determine the outcome of it. So let's see what else for the collective here. So it could be that somebody may have lost everything. You may have lost everything, but the most how or within your, your timeline, your destiny, you got somebody coming in here that's going to help you put the pieces back together. It's almost like somebody that lost everything. They may have lost their residence, their car, their job and everything. And for some of you guys, you may have a friend that you've always been friends with. And because somebody's fallen on hard times here, it could be the opportunity that your friendship is going to grow into something more. And I feel like it's going to help you in more ways than just financially. I feel like Spirit is sending you support. All right, Spirit, what else for the collective? What else for the collective spirit? There go your help. <clears throat> right there, the King of Pentacles. There go that caring connection. Ooh, wee. King and the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, and the Ace of Wands. Wow, see there? See there, you ain't lost nothing. See there, just when you think it, just when you thought that it was just going to keep on getting worse, bam, here comes something beautiful and amazing, Hippie. There it is, that collaboration, that teamwork here. See, for some of you guys, you're not expecting it, but you should be looking for Three of Pentacles because once again, the sun is shining back on your life. Look here, you're going from the darkness to the light. See? See? See that storm? But you see that sun? See? You're going from the dark into the light. Yeah, 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 you are. And Spirit is saying, let it all go. Leave it all behind. If, if, if you can't do nothing about it, Spirit says, it's time to let it go. You're not stuck. You're free. Because some of you guys may have felt like, what am I going to do? You know, I feel like I've been done wrong. Somebody could have, you know, took from you, stolen from you, wrongfully evicted you. But it don't matter. Spirit telling you, justice is going to be restored. You're going to get everything that's coming to you. And if anybody did you wrong, oh, please believe they're going to get theirs too. That is the karmic of life here. See, so like I feel like you got something coming here out of the darkness into the light comes hope. Things that have been hidden. What else for the collective? You got Leo energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, and Air. You got everybody. The only major is the Sun card. They go to Ace of Swords. See, here come your Karen connection. Spirit says somebody needs to get used to that, that other thing being over with because you can't do nothing that's about it. It could be a Scorpio. Spirit says, stop focusing on that storm that's the already came and did what it's going to do. Spirit says, start looking ahead. Start looking ahead because it ain't nothing back there. Keep It ain't nothing back there. It's the, something, to, something to either burn to the ground, but you're going to get so much more here. You know you are the king and the queen of Pentecost with that door to value or the, uh, in the reverse. 
That represents completely lost here. It's some complete loss. So like I feel like somebody, something, somebody's world may have come crumbling down and you may actually feel like the most high or that you don't have any spiritual protection or that you are helpless having this human experience on your own. But spirits say that's not true. It's not true. Still have to learn your lesson here. Could be a Libra, Gemini or an Aquarius with this two of swords and this ace of swords. What's going on with this eight of cups for the collective? Who knew what they need to walk away from? What no longer serves them? Spirits say, don't be so emotionally attached to things that you know that you deserve better from. And if you're that, especially if it's over with. So if you're walking away, spirits say, let it all go because you don't want the old to go into with the new because I feel like you got, it's almost like you really ain't lost nothing. And sometimes it's hard to believe that when you're really in the thick of your storm. But as the storm card in the reverse shows up, it's telling you it's, it's, it's falling away. The, the, the sun is breaking forth because as you saw, you have the sun card. So cloudy days don't hang always, but our perception. Eight of Cups for the collective. What's going on with this Eight of Cups? Why is the Eight of Cups showing up here for the collective? Eight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So somebody may have been waiting around for something to improve or something to get better. Or maybe somebody's going to finally realize that this ain't wait, worth waiting on. It's not worth investing in anymore because you may be realizing, shoot, why? See, because you, you somebody needs to finally realize that it's going to it's, it's, it, you end up losing out of this connection, then gaining out of it. So it's almost like somebody's going to start realizing that this is not worth my efforts. All it did was bring me heartache and pain. It's time to let it go. Seven of cups and go explore other options somewhere else. Go do other things. Go in different directions. Once again, with that seven of cups, that's telling you not to put your eggs in one basket again. So what's up with this uh, two of swords? Somebody could have been in denial for a while, not wanting to see the reality of things. Pardon me, y'all. Because somebody may have thought that something, maybe things could have worked out. But I feel like somebody, I feel like, I feel like things came completely down so that you could not try to patch things up because there's something better for you. And if you, if you, if you had not have lost all of that, whatever it is, then you will still be waiting, uh, uh, staying stuck in that situation that you know you deserve better in. Two of Swords for my collective. Why is a Two of Swords here? See, I told you. See, Ace of Pentacles. See, see, you got some heck of an opportunity for somebody. You may be about to get a better job. If you lost a job, then you're about to get a better job here. So see, you ain't never been alone. It's just all about you growing and you being mature and staying strong. Even in your storm, because the storms, they're going to always come. They come in different forms, but they always come because that's the only, that's the only way we're going to learn. If it's easy, how are we going to learn? We're not going to be able to learn like that because that's what it's about, the lessons that we learn. See and see there, you got something coming. See, page of Pentacles for a who? For a queen of Pentacles. You got the king and the queen. For some of y'all, you're about to be a financially stable person here. Or marriage here. Ooh. Wow. Or maybe you're going to find somebody here who's going to help you out and change your life. For some of you guys, you may end up having to find and uh, getting offered a better paying job in a higher paying position of authority. This, this ain't just no regular size position because you sitting here at the Queen of Pentacles twice with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Somebody's about to get a hell of a job offer here. And for whoever this is, this person going to end up, uh, you're going to end up dating this person. Ooh, because they go to Three of Pentacles. What's up with the Three of Pentacles? Nine of Wands. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like somebody here, see, somebody don't know though. Wow. I feel like somebody's really, really, I feel like part of you is, is telling you that maybe this person may be into you, but I feel like you feel like that's, that's a zone that you don't want to cross. But I feel like y'all going to end up being drawn to each other anyway. Wow. I feel like for whoever this for y'all going to, 
you're going to start dating your boss and you're going to end up the Mrs. Boss as the king and the queen of Pentacles. Some, some about to happen, God dang it. They go to justice card. You're going under some type of contract here, see? And they go to judgment, see? It could be, see, so somebody, either you're about to be awarded some money here. You don't see that. Like, I feel like somebody still, you, your, your, your load may be getting better. Things may be coming out of the dark, but you may feel like you have a long way to go. So you're not looking at the small progress that you're making. So you're not going to see this. Somebody got a whole life that's coming. And I, I see a lot of financial stability here. What's up with this Ace of Swords for the collective? Lib Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Truth, clarity, breakthrough. Maybe you're about to get a minute. See, they go to phone call. It could be a phone call that's about to change everything. They go to eight of one, some type of com truth communication. You may have to travel for it. Somebody, somebody may be flying you out or relocating you to build a life with them. Look, you may end up being a mail order bride. Don't come for me. <laughs> Ace of Swords, Eight of Wands. Why is this Ace of Swords here? The world. Like I say, either somebody's, somebody's traveling into you or you're traveling into them. But I feel like whatever this news is, you don't see this coming. And whatever, I feel like it could be some type of job that you start. But once again, whatever this work thing is, it's going to lead to some type of relationship that go to four one. See, this person going to be into you. Like, I feel like I feel like somebody here who went through a lot of things. You've been going through your storm. You felt helpless. You felt like things were not going to get better. And little do you know that things it seems like you had to go through all of it in order to get to the best part of it. So whatever heartache and pain and hardships you've been experiencing is so that you will be grounded in, in um still humble and down to earth because I feel like you know sometimes people can get a lot of money and don't know how to act I'm just saying you know what I'm saying you know you ever deal with wealthy people they get money and they just lose their freaking mind no nah, because that's the quickest way to lose it here so you have to stay humble here so for somebody you may have you may have experienced hardship that that's a part it, it don't mean that you're a horrible person because we all experience the sunshine the rain it is all a part of the lessons there are no good or no bads just the lessons that we learn in order for us to grow and evolve during this experience because that's all it is and don't need to be mad and bad at i said no because that we need to do those things so luckily for you though seems like you've been through all of the heartache and pain uh, so that you can get to the best part i feel like somebody's gonna get a new job opportunity to it ain't gonna be no little bs job you sitting here as the queen of pentacles but once again it could be a boss that's wanting you because they feel like you are quite and then again check it out this could even be for somebody here who does not have the qualifications okay it could be somebody here who is not qualified for a position, but because of favor and because of this is what it's supposed to be, uh, then you may end up getting a position that you really don't qualify for. But somebody's going to put you in that position because they see something in you. OK. Oh, what's up? This Knight of Cups coming in. See, I feel like it's a ball. So we're going to find that king and a queen of Pentacles. Now, for some of y'all could be a married couple here. Mm, let's see. Knight of Cups, <clears throat> Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Looking for their soulmate. Ten of Swords. So somebody may have ran into some disappointments in life. And like I said, this could be a marriage for some of y'all. Maybe maybe y'all maybe did something to each other. See, they go to five of cups. Somebody is regretting something here. So this could be, be also somebody here come, that's from your past that somebody is still holding on to. Because there is the eight of cups with a three of swords. See, and they go to eight of cups. Somebody needs to walk. Somebody ain't fully walked away from something. And I feel like it's the person here who feels like they've lost everything. The person here who is <clears throat> experiencing a, a storm. Because that's just how it is when you when it seems like when things go bad, you it seems like it really don't be like that. But that's how it's going to seem seem like when one thing, you know how they say, if it ain't one thing, it's another seem like they come in pairs. 
It's like when you get comfortable to try to deal with this situation, something else comes up. So it's almost like somebody here may not really be still tripping about this person who did them wrong or the situation, but since everything else is wrong, then they can't help but to still be mad at them too, okay? It's almost like they, they, gotta, they gotta experience something better in order for them to feel like things are being fair and balanced and like, it's like they shouldn't take it personal. You know what I'm saying? They just had their season for that and hopefully the lessons are learned. So this could very well be somebody needing to walk away from a situation. Somebody could meet you while you are doing, but I don't see you doing bad. I just feel like somebody lost something, but somebody's about to get it all back and then some. But it's almost like you're going to be upgrading. So the people or the situation that you used to engage in, you're going to be too elevated. You're not going to have time for them folks anyway. So, so, you know, it'd it be like that when they see you growing and they see you leveling up, then they're going to want to try to come back. But remember, you lost it all. Now, this ain't for everybody. That's why it's a general. But remember, this was somebody who experienced in their storm here. Remember, if you went through your storm alone, then those same paper, people can't pop up when the sun and come back out. Because please believe the sun is definitely coming back out. Now, what's up with this Ace of Wands? So somebody going to see you get your passion back. They go to four cups or they may be saying that you ain't got time for them no more. So some, everybody not going to be happy for you, too. People may want to come back here. You know, it's, it's just like that. You know, when times when you're in the storm, ain't nobody around. You just dealing with that storm on your own. But as soon as the sun starts shining in your life, then here come everybody proclaiming they love. See, they go to devil car. See, I told you. Everybody going to see you having this new beginning here and a lot of toxic people going to try to clench on to you again. See, see that? But, 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 but it's part of their karma. Some people going to see you shine here. See, and they go to will of fortune. See there. Somebody's going to see you get everything that you lost and they're going to ace of cups. See, so that's what spirit's telling y'all. Everybody it's like, it's like you could have been in relationships with family or friends where you were in some type of partnership where money is concerned, efforts, resources, time, energy, and you end up losing it all because it was a toxic connection and maybe it was a one-sided relationship. Maybe they were using you. Uh, those same people, when you were going through your storm, remember they were not around. They probably was happy to see you do bad here. Some of them probably even laughed in your face, but that's exactly what they should have did because now those same people have to see karma being served. And, and now uh, you're going to be the one that's financially stable and they're going to be the ones that's suffering. It's like what goes around, come around with it. Look, you know it. That's for real because you got the justice and the freaking will of fortune. OK, so that devil energy. Oh, they're going to try to come back. They're going to try to come back around you because once again, they see you shining again. Collective could be a Leo, could be a, a Capricorn, could be a Libra. What's up with the sun card? That's just how people do. You still have folks come see. So I let not tell you somebody going to realize that you're getting your hair done. You driving a nice car. You may be posting pictures and stuff and, and they're going to be like, what happened here? You know how people want to come. I knew you could do it. I knew, I knew you was going to be somebody, but, but they was the same ones talking bad about you and wouldn't help you. The sun car here. No, they had they time. They were being tested too. See, Knight of Cups. See, they're the same person gonna try to come back and finesse you again. But this the same person over here with that Ten of Swords and that Five of Cups and that Eight of Cups in reverse. Don't let that person come back in and try to play over your feelings here, cause you got somebody real coming. If they didn't put that work in, if they didn't suffer a little bit with you when you were suffering, then they don't they don't deserve to come back and reap your rewards unless you let them. See, because spirits say they don't mean you no good. See, seven of swords. All right, what's up with that king of pentacles? Ooh, -wee. the empress. Ooh, somebody see you as somebody that they want to have a family with. They go to page of cups. See, I tell you, you got somebody here already into you. See, somebody want to do the things for you that your old person wouldn't do because obviously they see more value. Somebody feels like y'all can get something going. Y'all can grow something. But you probably was around people who looked at your strengths as something that they could use. See, this person coming in to balance out your life. See, could be a Sagittarius here. If you've been doing things and you've been in one side of relationships where people were, you know, now, you know, it's sad, but I'm just saying. 
the queen of pentacles showing up twice. So what this person is doing is almost like they're coming in here to help you. You already got the gifts. You got the wisdom. You got the knowledge. You got the, uh, you got the credentials. You, you got the wisdom. You got the, um, the experience is what I feel with this queen of pentacles. It's just that you was around people who, who couldn't do nothing with it because maybe they were beneath you here. So it's almost like people know, know what you're known for here, but sometimes you get caught up with the wrong people helping them and they taking advantage of you and stuff. So yeah, somebody gonna see somebody here who they can really build and work with. And anybody in the past who thought that you was dumb because you cared enough to help them, Oh, yeah, they're going to try to come back. But spirits say you ain't even ignore them. Don't even give them your attention because they're watching you. They're watching you live your life here. See, Knight of Wands, somebody coming in here, Knight of Wands, not wanting to commit. It could be this King of Pentacles, but I feel like they're not. See, Ace of Wands. Now, this could be somebody from your past or somebody new because you got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. But you also got that Knight of, that Knight of Cups that you walked away from. I feel like this is new. See, did not tell you finna end up in a whole relationship. So somebody can hang it up because they done missed out. Somebody gonna mess around and let a real person get you. And this is gonna be somebody here who is just as, somebody here who knows how to balance the, the finances. Somebody here who ain't out here trying to keep up with the Jones and live above their means. Uh, this ain't no one-sided relation. This King of Pentacles coming in here. And with the Empress here, this person's gonna want a family with you or this person wants to blend your family together. This is a family oriented person. You could have been trying to build that with the people that you were around, but you could have been around nothing but savages that all they knew was to try to steal and take what you got. If you finally broke away from them, spirits say, let it go because what you have ahead of you is going to make you totally forget all about the heartache and pain of your storms of your past collective. All right, collective, this is your general reading. If it resonates, please like, share and subscribe.